Hey everyone. So today we are going through with that uh, Google Trends API and Python. So the most of the people know the Google Trends uh, is a website. It will be analyzing the that popular search results actually. And uh, in that Google search, usually we had to do the lot of searches in real time. So that Google Trends, uh, what exactly do is so it's collecting that searches. and uh, based on that uh, it will be uh, turning to the some useful data actually so that called google trends okay, so in that uh, tutorial uh, so you can get the trending results in the google trends and uh, so how you get the current topic is going on on the internet so that you can easy to get via the api in python python api i just mentioned uh, in the description below so you can find it over there so coming to that so first we you, we need to install the uh, pytrends uh, uh, thing actually so i'm i'm using the jupyter notebook so actually most of the data engineers and data scientists used that to kind of notebook so one is anagonda another one is jupiter notebook so i i can prefer myself to jupiter notebook if you comfort with anagonda or some other uh, cli so you can continue with that no issues on that so the first thing uh, we need to install the pytrends in jupiter notebook uh, we can install easily so i can run pip install pytrends okay so it's installed now and uh, so after that uh, i need to connect with the uh, uh, google with that python so before that i just install the pandas as pd and uh, from python start so we already used then some request library right so that also it will be intermediating uh, with that so i just run that now it's completed so pytrend equal to trend record so i just create one class so it's connected with the google now because uh, pytrend uh, it's defaultly connect with the google actually so once you initialize the class so after that i can interest by region actually so let's see uh, let's see the terms actually which are popular uh, in the region worldwide so i will choose the term uh, into be searched as a some some new word actually so i can put it actually so first uh, i python dot build payload so i can just uh, kw list so it's a list uh, we can give that would support an array even so uh, i can search as a missy and uh, so after that um i can create on data frame with a python so python dot interest interest by region oops there is an issue uh my bad spell mistake yeah interest by region so after the tf dot head then i can just put it over there okay so in that uh, you can see the algeria four times angola 323 times argentina 14 times so that would be a name is trending on that actually obviously and uh, coming to that uh, next part so now uh, you might be thinking what are the values uh, why they are to be denoted actually so because uh, some of the values it sh should be a zero and uh, the values are calculated on the scale from 0 to 100 actually where 100 location uh, with the most popularity fraction and uh, the value of 50 is half of the popular and a uh, zero uh, it's uh, not enough data there is a popular but uh, there is not enough data so that not much of people uh, they are searched by the name actually yeah so coming to the next part so it will be showing that uh, 423 and 14 right so if 100 is there so that would be a most popular fraction and a zero is there there is not enough data 
and uh, there is 23 or 50 is then so based on the 100% popularity so it's a 23 percentage uh, they are interested in that name and 14 percentage they are interested in the name so based on the data it will be give and uh, so coming to that next part so i can uh, reset in the index in pandas so let's uh, so geo name and uh, there is two values in resetting the index xy so in that uh, i just may see figure size so i can put as 2910 it's a default value based on that and uh, yeah so kind i need to show us bar chart actually so in that yeah so let me show so in that uh, you can see the uh, this values actually uh, okay let me uh, expand so in that uh, you can see the data algeria and angola argentina so based on that name uh, it will be show like that actually so see ireland iraq india also be searched on that actually that is why uh, it is a subplot actually that called a subplot graph and uh, so after that uh, we will go to the daily search trends so that's the next part daily search trends so don't skip it uh, daily search trends so it's a uh, gets we can get some google hot data as well actually so that's why uh okay so let me type data frame equal to pytrend dot trending searches oops my bad trending searches so in that uh that uh, point name uh point name should be i just placed as india so so after that we have dot head see this is the trending searches in india currently going on bangladesh is india obviously uh, the test match is currently running on that uh, and uh, rrb deals kind of stock market and uh, share price cat manchester manchester city vs liverpool obviously football fans also there in india so uh, if we run like that pytrend dot trending searches in pointing name india so it will be giving the uh, country basis uh, trending searches day to day day so it will be give uh, based on that so the next part uh, we going to uh, see the top charts actually okay so in that part uh, we can get the google top level searches in the top charts level so uh, let me show um, so data frame and uh, pytrend dot top charts so in that library there is a lot of function is there so that function you can easy to understand even though and um, uh, you can get some better results actually so it's pure data related uh, library so you can explore lot of things from that part actually so in top search i can just put a uh, 2019 what uh, top searches in there so in that uh, there is a languages uh, we need to put uh, so this um, language just i need a english time zone it's 300 it's a buffer time so geo global level if you need any uh, particular uh, thing like india us so you can mention on that but uh, for now i can place as a global and uh, so and after that i can just type head so in that uh, 2019 india as south africa cameron boys and copa america bangladesh india iphone 11 so these are the things are the trending thing and uh, 2020 let me show 
ஆல்வேஸ் எக்ஸ்பெக்டட் ரைட் கொரோனா வைரஸ் எலெக்ஷன் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் கொபி ஜூம் ஐபிஎல் ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த திங்ஸ் அண்ட் யூ கேன் ஆல்சோ கெட் த லெட் மீ ஷோ ஸோ யூ கேன் ஆல்சோ கெட் த கூகுள் கீவேர்ட் சஜஷன் ஆல்சோ இன் தட் பார்ட் ஆக்சுவலி கீவேர்ட்ஸ் பைட்ரண்ட் சஜஷன்ஸ் இந்த சஜஷன் தேர் ஹாவ் யூ ஒன் ஆர்கியூமெண்ட் வீ கேன் பாஸ் கீவேர்ட் ஓகே ஸோ கீவேர்ட் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் சர்ச் கோவிட் அண்ட் டேட் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரேம் பிடி டாட் data frame in the i can search as a keywords df dot drop columns mid so i can just type that see uh so this is the thing uh, it's a keyword suggestion actually so you can get the keyword suggestion also so if you are developing some web application related so on that uh, if you need any suggestion like google so or you need to take the google suggestions so you can just take the pipeline.suggestions and related with that uh, uh, your text box value you can simply pass through that and uh, uh, that value will give that uh, related keywords actually so it's pretty cool right so after that uh, you can put some related queries as well and uh, oh, okay uh, so the related query means uh, it's common thing right when user search the topic uh, they would be also be uh, searching for the something related thing actually uh, the these are called related queries so let us see the what are the related queries for the topic it's called like a uh, coronavirus i just say right so always remember when you want to change uh, the topic name just run the following code again uh, you need to new name as a parameter actually uh, simply that uh, let me quickly uh, give actually so related query and uh, python dot related queries okay so red queries dot values see uh, i'm already uh, searching with uh, uh, in that part messy i just searched right so this is the same thing uh, so i can do that python dot related queries so it will be give the uh, related that actually uh, now or for your understand i just uh, type another thing python dot build payload because we already build the payload right so in that kw list and say that array of covid i just search okay so after that related queries by trends related queries on that okay related queries and uh, related queries dot values so if i run that queries dot values so if i search with the covid so this is the suggestion covid 19 vaccine uk and the covid testing near me so all those things so these are the things and um, in google level so okay in google google gives the all kind of apis from the engine if you are developing the uh, some kind of web application related search engine related or data related things so you can use this library as pytrend and uh, you can take the data whatever data you want so you can take it from the text and uh, uh, you can also get the suggestion and uh, solution and the search history and uh, you know that uh, trending things and uh, all those things uh, you can get from that actually so it's quite simple api thing so if you understand well 
uh, you can implement whatever things you have so you can implement easy as possible actually so hope you guys uh, you guys are get some better understanding from that and uh, subscribe for more videos and uh, keep sharing and uh, like and comments yeah thumbs up yeah thanks for all bye see you on next video